Hey guys, this is your boy Trapper Tom, and today I'm going to be showing you how to get four achievements in one race on uh, Project Cars. I'm going to be showing you how to get on your left, requesting flyby, Grand Shellum, Shelm, whatever that achievement's called, and Gladiator. Now, before you actually set up the race, you're going to want to go over to your options and uh, press gameplay and make sure that your damage is turned on, so full damage, mechanical failures on yes, and tire wear. You want it on, well, just real, I guess. Turn on whatever assists you want. I'm just turning them all on to make it a little bit easier. So once you've done all that, just press B to back out of there and it should save it all for you. Yep, it's done that, done that for me. So once you're on this screen right here, you're gonna to wanna to set up a quick race weekend. Now for the track, uh, pick one that's kind of short. So I went to Sonoma or Sonoma, Sonoma, one of those. I did originally try it on Monza, but, um, <clears throat> excuse me, turned out that it weren't actually, you know, short enough. It was too long, basically. So yeah, just put it on Sonoma. And yeah, it's what, Sonoma Raceway short, sorry. And then you're gonna wanna pick a car. Obviously, I've picked the Aerial Atom 300 supercharged because the supercharged engine sounds sick and it's such a brilliant car. Hopefully one day I will own a supercharged engine um, Obviously in a car that would be weird if I owned it on its own <laughs> Anyway for the event length you're going to want to put laps number of laps you're going to want 10 Number of opponents you want 5 type of opponents you want same class Opponent skill I put it down to 1 I didn't want to put it on 0 because I was worried about glitching the game uh, Rolling start no practice 1 and 2 no Qualifying five minutes and warm up zero minutes. So once you've done all that, you're just gonna to want to start the event. So once the short qualifying session has started, you're just gonna to want to go out there and get a pole, which should be like ridiculously easy. Oh my god, listen to the sound of that supercharger. <laughs> oh brilliant. But yeah, just go out there, get a pole, and yeah, should be easy, like I said, because the AI are on the easiest difficulty in the game, pretty much. So there we go. I got pole by like 20 seconds. So let me know if you guys can beat that time actually, because yeah, just a little interesting challenge for you. It was a pretty sloppy lap. So I'd be surprised if you can't beat that time. But once you've done that, just go on to the race. Now during the race, all we've got to do is lap an opponent and um, get fastest lap and then just obviously win the race. Another thing we have to do is uh, pit whilst we're in first and come out still in first. So to do all the things I've just said, just keep driving around as fast as you can and try and build a bit of a gap because hopefully the AI will pit like halfway through the race and that's when you can lap them. Obviously getting fastest lap is just down to how fast you drive and the pit thing, we just need a big enough gap to uh, pull off the pit stop you know whilst remaining in first place the whole time so we're just about to overtake a lapped car oh just gave me a little love tap on the way through but never mind <laughs> i did already um overtake some of the other lapped cars but i got a text whilst recording that which was absolutely great and i'm sure you guys don't want to listen to me getting a text so um yeah just remember you've got to get fastest lap as well um if you do get fastest lap you'll get like a little your, your um, what's his name? Your mechanic will come over the radio and tell you like, well done, fast slap of the race, blah blah blah. Um, and then all we've got to do now is just pit and make sure we come out in first. Now, as you can see in the bottom left-hand corner, we are one minute six ahead of the guy in second place, which is quite embarrassing for him to be honest. But doesn't matter; it's good for us. So we're gonna go and pull into the pits in just a second. I still love the sound of that supercharger by the way, Jesus Christ. <laughs> but yeah, here's the pitch just here. And make sure we brake, don't wanna, you know, write the car off on the way in. Uh, edit current, view save, swap driver. Uh, I don't know, I don't actually know how to do a pit stop, so. Mm. Okay, front left brakes, uh, yes, 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 yes yes on everything i guess <laughs> i don't know <laughs> uh so how much fuel do we want we want seven laps change tires 
want a symmetrical setup and tire compound we just want soft so yeah let's go for that okay pit boss what I wasn't expecting to get that achievement <laughs> And there we go, we're away. That actually was a long ass pit stop. I'm used to like F1 style pit stops. These guys took forever. But now what we want to do is obviously just again make sure we get that fastest lap of the race. I've already got it to be honest. So all I need to do now is just finish the race in first place. And yeah, there's one of the achievements. Uh, requesting flyby. I didn't actually realize we'd get that during the race. But yeah, just make sure we get to the end and finish in first place with fastest luck. And here we have it guys, the run up to the line with that sexy ass supercharger sound. Yes. <laughs> oh my god, it feels great when you win a race. Doesn't matter what difficulty it's on. But there is the Gladiator achievement. All your other achievements should be popping off. And yeah, some of them I already had unlocked, so... Yeah, there's another one for me. I think I got four achievements actually in this race when I should have only got three. But um, I unlocked one that was like a 5G achievement. I might have included it in the video. But if this video has helped you, please do leave it a like. Subscribe to see some more content. Talk to me down in the comments. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.